Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you guys had a good day. I had a good day. As you can see in the background, I've got the Ferraris out. Today will be a Ferrari Friday. I previously mentioned on another video that we had a new diecast store open up close by, and I got excited because there's just tons of old castings, blue cards, everything you can think of, and I wanted to do this video because he had... In the store, he had a very large Ferrari collection, and I always look to get those when I can. So, today is Ferrari Friday. I picked up a pretty good haul. <clears throat> Hopefully, my wife doesn't see this video, uh, because this is a uh, this was a good day to spend some money. We'll get right to it. Um, after this video, I'll also upload some video from the store. Um, it's a place in Coleman, Alabama. If you're nearby or if you're traveling through, I highly encourage you to stop. I do want to forewarn you that I, like a noob, uh, kept my phone up and down instead of in landscape orientation. So it'll look like an old potato video. Um, but nevertheless, you'll see the selection, you'll see the castings, and why I was so excited and wanted to share it with you. We'll get, let's get started though. Uh, I've got some really great Ferrari castings. Let's start with this 458 Italia. Now I typically try and research my cars and give you guys some information uh, as I'm sharing. I don't, I didn't have time to do that today and I was so excited. I wanted to just go ahead and get it uh, out to you guys. I'll let you know every one of these were $5. This was an incredible find. I love this store. Look at this casting right here I did not I don't know if I have this casting you guys can probably tell me better quicker than I can I'm not really up on my Ferrari like I should be I love them I just don't know a lot about them this is a 458 and it looks like I may or may no I don't think I have this one already uh, but I really really like the yellow uh, tampos on the front badge of course I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on every one just wanted to show the cars to be honest Next up, looks like it is a Ferrari 550, 599 GT3 from the 2007 New Models series. Again, $5. Incredible Ferrari red, can't beat it. Badge, front, tan interior, nothing on the back. Just a gorgeous casting. I love the way they incorporated the grill into the base. As you can see, all of these are going to be new out of the blisters. Take a look at the color on this one. Looks like a copper. This is a GTO. Good old Magnum PI Ferrari. Again, unbelievably $5. Rust, copper color, whatever you want to call it. Badges on the front, side. Even a little extra detail on the quarter panel back here. Rear lamps are done. Badge on the rear. Really a cool color. Only thing I have close, if you can see, that brown version right there. But I, I really like that color. Alright, uh, next up, 458. Look at like the yellow one we just looked at, except in the red. This is the 2010 version. The, it says new model, so I guess that was a, the first one they put out. A little deeper red than the typical Ferrari red. Great lamp tampos. Badge is proportionate, which I really like. Just not a big fan of the, the wheels being different sizes, to be honest. Tail lamps are not done. All of these so far have had plastic bases, black interior, amazing lines, just as you would expect. You can see the difference in the two red that I have even down there. You guys can probably tell. Another 2007 first edition, the 599 GTB, sorry. Needed a few more black. Those are the only black I have, the ones you see in front of you. Look at the lines on that. It's 
So now we've got three of these right out of the gate. And we will move on to a Spider Ferrari 458 from the Hot Wheels Showroom Series. And that is 2013. Really don't look like any other Hot Wheels right out of the blister. They are my favorite. Paint is immaculate. And classic. Had to grab it. Old blue card. This one is from 1996. Still $5. Let's start with the tail lamp detail. Both of them are painted. Pretty impressive. Some guy in the diecast store said that these might have corgi wheels. I don't I didn't know what he meant. Grill is part of the base. I could do without the logo on the windshield. That's okay. Black interior works perfect. Uh, the base also includes the vents on the back. Can't beat that. We all love that. All right. Next up, another Spider 458 in yellow. 2012 new model. Black interior, tampo, headlamps, nothing on the back, nothing on the rear, rather. Love it. Great job. All right, next up, 555, 550 rather, Marinello. Another older one. This one is from 1999, 2000 probably. I think I have this one. Or I had it at one point. Maybe just not in this color. I think that's what it is. I, I brought my pictures of my cars on my phone with me to try and avoid buying duplicates. I did that one time because, uh, or I did it because one time at a show, I came home with four of the same ones that I bought in my euphoria of being at the show. Pretty gaudy logo on the back there. But the casting, casting's perfect. Next up, another classic GTO in Ferrari Red, 2008 new model. Again, $5. Perfect. A little bit extra tampo on the back, or excuse me, on the side and the back rather. An attempt to do some tail lamp decal on the back. You can see even the GTO, the prancing horse, A little bit extra badge detail on that. A little bit of color, the red and green. Next up, five, nope, F12 Berlinetta. The Hot Wheels City series is one of my favorites. This thing to always do classic paint jobs. Yep, unless that is supposed to be a turn signal. Nothing on the rear, and yeah, it is. There's another one on that fender right there. It's a good look. Tampos on the headlamps. Black interior. Great job. Not too many more. Uh, another 458 Spider in red from the 2012 new models. Amazing car. Even looking at looking at it now. Uh, 
I don't know how you would do it without the big wheels on the back, though. It, it might look... Maybe that's part of the appeal to me. I hope they're not growing on me. That would be a shame. I, I always prefer authenticity and realism in my die-cast pieces. And mismatched wheels. Used to bother me a lot. Apparently not anymore. Alright. California. I don't know a whole lot about this car at all. This is from the Hot Wheels Premiere Series. And that was in 2009. It's a good looking car. Nice detail, little little horse on the back. And I think, yep, they've even got some extra color on that rear body panel. I think they even dotted the key lock on the door. Oh, lens headlamps on that one. Yeah, you get a little dot of chrome for your key lock. Cool car. All right, last one. Just a classic 250 GTO 2009 new model. I've got this vehicle, I'm pretty sure, maybe in red, although as I look right now, I don't see it. I just don't see it. I probably have it. Uh, yeah, I do. There it is. So, no detail on the front on this one. A badge. Spindle. Snowflake wheels, badge on the side. You get the door handle, but no headlamps. And then, I don't know what that is. Something on the boot. Trunk. But I don't know if that's a maybe the gas cap. You do get some nice tail lamp decal or paint. And even the license plate lamps. Great car. Like I said, I'll post the video of the store so you guys can see if you happen to be traveling through Alabama a lot of people drive to the beach in the springtime and summertime diecast extreme is not even five minutes off the interstate interstate 65 runs through Alabama down to the beach and if you are a collector I promise you it's worth your while but I'll post that video later uh, check it out if you want Thanks for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed these Ferraris. I, I sure did. Have a good weekend if I don't see you before then.